What is going on guys? It's your boy Big Dylan and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today I've got another topic that I really want to talk about and that is scout reports in Destiny 2. So, if you don't know what scout reports are, you can buy them from K6. He is a hunter vanguard. You can find him to the left side of the tower. Once you've obviously completed your game that is. And he has a thing called scout reports. You can buy these off of him for 1,250 glimmer each. You can buy them for the European Dead Zone, Titan, Nessus, and Io. And what these do is they basically highlight nearby loot caches for whatever planet you decide to buy them for, for you and your fire team. And the effect lasts up to four hours. So, at first glance, these are actually really nice. Uh, being able to obviously mark the loot caches so you can obviously collect the loot chests, gather some extra tokens and all that sort of good stuff is a really nice benefit. However, Bungie have pretty much gone against that and implemented a mechanic into the game to where you can only loot so many chests in a certain time frame to, and then once you've looted so many you don't get anything out of the ones you loot after that. Like It's like there's a cooldown on how many you can loot basically in a certain time frame it's just it's in my opinion it's just pathetic um at the end of the day if i want to spend my time exploring your worlds that you have created let me you know what i mean if i want to put on a scout report and i want to spend my time in patrol exploring the planets going into caves finding these secret tunnels and you know these hidden chests and all that sort of stuff let me do that i don't see the point in actively going against people exploring your game and gathering these chests. Now, the argument that everybody uses towards this is, oh well people are just going to run around in circles farming chests, getting tokens really easily. At the end of the day, if you actually make your game rewarding enough to where people, you know, to where there's actually better ways to get tokens, aka make heroic public events give you three tokens per successful public event, that might be a little bit more, you know, worthwhile doing. Also, mate, lost sectors give you more than like one token for the chest at the end. That might also make them a little bit more worthwhile in doing. You know, there's plenty of ways you could go around it other than just putting a wall in the game. You know. So without further ado, let's just jump into some gameplay of me getting some stuff from chests and then not getting anything. So I'm on the planet Titan. I have actually entered my, or should I say, consumed my scout report already. As you can see, how it's nearby loot caches on the moon of Saturn, which is Titan. So, without further ado, I'm going to basically show you guys the wall, like, that you hit, basically, once you've looted so many chests in a certain time frame, as to where you don't get anything out of them. So, as you can see, that one, I got something out of it. That's fine. That's, that's exactly what they're supposed to do. Um... And again, we'll just quickly go around and we'll keep looting until it finally doesn't give me anything. And it happens pretty quickly. I think you'll be shocked as to how quick it actually does happen. I thought I, I thought it was actually going to happen then, like on the foot on the second thing. Right. So these alkane dust things as well, they count as well. Like they actually count towards the timer or well, not a timer. It's like a block in the game as to where you won't get anything out of it. And um, I'll try and find some more here if I can. But what I'm basically trying to say is, is I don't get why you have put the scout reports in the game to make it easier for people to find these chests and whatever else it may be. And as you can see, from picking that up, I didn't get anything. Usually, now you're not always guaranteed to get alkane dust out of them. Sometimes you usually get glimmer, um, which is fine. But... I didn't even get Glimmer then because I've hit that wall. This chest, right now, I won't get anything from it. There you go. Welcome to Destiny 2. The game is to where it marks chests for you to find and it doesn't give you anything for it. This, for me, is just... It's its just frustrating. Like, it's just annoying. Like, I, like I said, I don't get why you've put this, the reports in the game to make people want to use them and like if I want to spend my time like I said before exploring your planets going around you know collecting all of this stuff let me do it 
Now, don't get me wrong, defeating like high value targets, completing public events and stuff doesn't affect the rate as to which they drop. Um, so when I pick this up right now, I'll get something. Um, as you can see, there you go. But the, that's basically the proof. As it's happened that quick, as you can see, I picked up a, like maybe four or five within a minute, minute and a half, maybe two minutes, and it's already kicked in as to where I don't get anything from them. Um, for me, I think it's stupid. I think it needs to be removed out of the game, quite frankly. Um, because at the end of the day, if I go up to something like this, I'm like, ooh, what's it? Ooh, what's this? You know what I mean? Like, oh, I can, I can collect it. Wow, let's collect it. And then you don't get anything for it. You know, it, it's, it's just annoying. Like I said. Anyway, I mean, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. I don't want to keep you guys any longer than what I need to. But I hope Bungie does revert this change in the near future because it is extremely frustrating. Like I said, if I want to spend my time exploring your planets, going around into all the little nooks and crannies, exploring all the different buildings and caves, let me do it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not hurting anyone. I mean, one of the main reasons people argue against this is because oh well people are just going to run around in circles farming chests for tokens well at the end of the day if that's such a huge issue then clearly your game isn't rewarding enough you know what i mean like make public events give more tokens like when i complete a heroic public event give me three tokens instead of the one like when i loot a lost sector give me two to three tokens from collecting the chest at the end of the lost sector there's easier ways to do it than just putting a wall in the game, okay? But that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Peace.